When we think of punching power, we are often focused on what's within sight, the arms and the hands, that is. When we think of power punchers, we may visualize someone very bulky, with a wide frame, wide shoulders, big arms. It may seem counterintuitive, but a very significant portion of the power in a punch comes from the legs, actually. The power in a punch starts from the ground up, a bottom-up approach if you will. The initial energy starts with the rotation and the extension of the rear leg, which is then transitioned into a hip rotation in the trunk, into an arm extension and finally into the fist delivering the punch, which also stiffens upon impact, creating a form of effective mass. This energy that is generated in such a context is known as kinetic energy, which is the energy that an object possesses due to its motion. Given the same speed but different masses, the heavier mass will carry more kinetic energy. Thereby, if you neglect leg contribution, you lose a lot of potential kinetic energy. To add on to this energy, you may also increase the speed of your punch. Essentially, the faster the punch moves, the more kinetic energy it will possess. Kinetic energy increases with the square of the speed, which means that doubling the speed of the punch multiplies the kinetic energy by 4. So with both factors increased, that is the heavier the object and the faster the object travels, kinetic energy will be dramatically increased. And how is this relevant to the legs you may ask? The fact is that countless of fighters will neglect using their legs to their fullest extent when punching and thereby you lose a lot of impact force. If you desire power production it is not enough with simply arm extension. And even something as vital as hip rotation is not enough, you could up the notch a bit more with weight transfer from the legs. On average, the legs together account for about 15-20% to 20 of a person's body weight. By neglecting your legs when punching, you are neglecting all of this potential mass that could add to the impact forces of your punch. Guys, this is not rocket science, it is very basic and elementary physics. In fact, you don't even need physics to understand this concept, you just need a shred of common sense. The heavier something is and the faster it travels, obviously it's gonna lead to a higher impact, and you need to maximize the mass behind your punch. Effective punching involves shifting weight from one leg to the other. This weight transfer also contributes to the acceleration of the punch, thereby increasing its potential for damage even more. For example, in a straight right hand across, if you will, a boxer transfers the weight from the back foot into the front foot while rotating the hips and the shoulders into the punch. This momentum from this snapping motion of the legs not only adds speed to the punch but it also allows you to use more of your mass. In the end, this compounds the impact forces. In one classic study right here, they analyzed power punchers, that is boxers who score high on the knockout department, and they found out that for those, they always used more leggy contribution when compared to other boxing styles such as scorers or point fighters and things of this nature. They also divided boxers into different experience levels, and they found out that the higher the experience of the boxer, the more leg contribution. Keep in mind that this study is conducted by Vasily Filiminov, a professor specializing in boxing and a world-class coach of multiple world champions and medalists. In essence, those findings highlight the point that the more experienced the boxer, the more they understand the importance of leg contribution and that novice boxers will punch too much with their arms while neglecting the lower body. In another study here, which is more up-to-date, they analyzed the punching forces of elite, intermediate and novice boxers in the rear hand punch, the cross that is. And similarly, the more experienced the boxer, the higher the punching forces. Although they did not go into details of why this occurs, one can contemplate that elite boxers have superior coordination and weight transfer, especially that of the legs. Here is a perfect demonstration of leg transfer by Alex Pereira. He starts off with a straight right hand to the opponent's body and while he is throwing it, pay attention to the lead leg. He is transferring all of that momentum into the lead leg and it's loaded like a spring and he shifts all of that momentum into the back leg while releasing the lead hook and he has tremendous power in it, tremendous momentum and energy and it ultimately knocks the opponent out. And here is a classic by Mike Tyson, one of the most technical punchers in my opinion when it comes to leverage and bodily dynamics. Here he does an inside slip of the opponent's jab and while he is doing it he leans on his lead leg as you can see here. Now it's locked and loaded like a spring and he uses all of that momentum transferring it to the rear side of his body while releasing this lead hook which knocks his opponent out.